log 120433. Testing, testing. Oh, it works, cool. So I'm supposed to be using this computer to upload my findings once I'm on the planet's surface. And in return, I get new tools, suit enhancements, etc. But no one said I couldn't use this as a journal too. So I think I will. About 10 miles from the surface now. Is it raining? Really? Perfect. Star Surveyor. <laughs> so hey guys, <laughs> this is Swordfish and I am playing Star Surveyor. This is a game by Taylor Anderson, a.k.a. Slime Friend. Uh, right now this is a demo that's available on itch.io, um, but let me read the description of it real quick. Star Surveyor is an exploration game about interacting with and observing a diverse ecosystem without harming that ecosystem. There is no killing in this game, which I really like. Instead, you can feed frogs, ride dinosaurs, and swim in underground pools, all in an attempt to learn more about the planet you've landed on and its inhabitants. The goal of this game is to collect data on creatures using your scanner. You can send that send that data back to Earth in exchange for spacesuit upgrades that allow you to further explore the planet's depths. Cool! All right, so WASD to move, E to see debrief. Mission debrief, ANSA. Planet Maya 427B, atmosphere 82% nitrogen, 10% oxygen, 5% argon, 3% carbon dioxide. All right. WASD to move. Okay. I have a cursor to look around. Uh, I was really... This game got a little bit of buzz. I was really intrigued by the fact that it was an exploration game, but it was totally non-violent, which is very unusual. There's no killing. Usually, exploration games also involve you, like, killing the stuff that you're exploring, which is crazy stupid, but... I like that this makes it a choice not to do that. Okay. Hover over things you want to scan and hold left mouse to scan. So, that's new, new, new. Okay. Data plus plus. Now, data plus, I guess because I had scanned it already, data plus, I can't go down. So I'm thinking, oh, so I just turned in my research when I got here. So I need four more research before I unlock something. That's how that's the premise of this game. So uh, press E to pick fruit, press E to eat, press S or down to drop. So, E, I guess I'll, I'll eat it. I think there's a health thing. That's what that is. All right, let me scan this plant. It's two more. I can't quite reach up there. Uh, and here's a dinosaur. Amazing. Hello. You're big and kind of scary, but uh, adorable. Can I ride you? No, I probably, I'm sure that's an unlock. I love how he's, he's, rattling the screen every time he walks. He's so big. Okay. Oh, the fruit respawn. That's good to know. Alright, so... I have four more things, so I can unlock... Shovel. Click on blocks to dig them. Hmm. Okay, well, that's useful. Um... Let's see. Oh, okay. So I just found a mushroom. So I can scan it, and then I can pick it up and eat it, maybe. I don't really want to eat strange mushrooms, necessarily. Um, there's a... I, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Okay. Uh, he just attacked me, so let me scan you, and then... Maybe go away, since no killing in this game. Turn in my... Th oh, health refilled, cool. So, that's good. Now, let me... Alright, what else is here? There's another mushroom. Got a little more data from that. Now, there's another level I can see down here, but there's, like... I can't dig through these. I can only dig through dirt. So... Let me go over here and see what's up. This is all solid. I can't dig through this. At all. Can I dig through this? I can. Oh, can I use this to get up here? Oh, interesting. Alright. I got hit, so let me scan that and then eat it. And finally, a tree branch I can jump on and a log in my way. So I can't go down here. I gotta get under it to get through that log. Alright. That's fine. Um, can I... I can reach this, but I don't think I can reach that. Oh, hello? Hello? Can I scan you? You're too... You're too... Oh, no. So, every time I get in scan range, he jumps away. It seems like. And I can't, like, hold the button down long enough on him to... Oh, I 
got it. Aha, I got it. Got my frog. All right. The next thing was nine, so I gotta wait a little. Or I had, f I got four, so I actually should be able to unlock it now. Um, let me just see if there's anything else out. And yeah, all right. There's a dead end here. I can't go through this. I can't tunnel up the same way. Um, it's nothing really down. Nope. Okay. So now I could probably like trap the frog with some kind of shoveling trickery, couldn't I? I bet that's a thing. Like, almost like that. Or like that. No, come on. Alright, whatever. I got the things I needed. I got <laughs> I got all I got enough. I got enough, so let me head back to the ship. I could see underneath here uh well I guess still in the way. I could see underneath here a little bit earlier. Yeah, like there's underground pathways that I could get to at some point, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I can't break through this rock right now. I'm guessing that my next unlock will let me do that. Here I am. Heart health upgrade. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, and I actually can dig through here, so... This bat is kind of the same as the frog. Oh, and I can't... Can I eat that? I can't. Okay. Now, I see, like, darkness closing in on me. I wonder... Oh! So that's, like... Is it dark in this cave or something? These things are spitting fire at me. That's a little scary. And what are you? You're a mushroom. You're a bunny? You're gone. Whoa. Oh, you tunneled. Wait, can I scan you? I can't scan you. Got it. Gotcha. Gotcha, little bunny. Um Okay. It seems like the further I the the um the light level is a depth, it's a y axis thing. If I jump it goes away, if I fall it goes down. So I bet it's going to get super dark as I go down here. Whoa. And the ground changed. Whoa. This is as dark as it gets though. Hoping an upgrade. All right, so this is sort of impassable for me. Because I can't see to fall. I don't want to do that. Necessarily. So let me go this way. See if I can unlock enough things. Because I haven't been scanning these mushrooms. Can I scan the mushrooms? I can. Oh, so I should have been doing that to collect as I found them. Because there's one over here, right? To collect uh, points. So I can unlock stuff. I forgot. Because I didn't need the health. I forgot that they were useful. So... Got that one. Let's head this. It was, I think it was 11 that I needed. I, oh, drat. I forgot about those guys. Okay. Escaped. I scanned this one. I don't know what this is. It's... Nice. I got the bat. Oh, and that's enough. Cool. Um, so how am I going to get up? Can I jump up here? Yeah. All right. Um, ship is this way? Yeah. 10. I only needed 10. Sweet. And I got lantern. Cool. Press E to teleport lantern to you. Oh, cool. So you can hold it and run with it. Now, these look dangerous. Ow. Yep. <laughs> so let me eat a mushroom, gain some health, teleport this lantern to me. Oh, now I can't. I guess maybe I'm full. I can't eat that. I don't know. Let's jump down here. There's another one. I'll scan you. Can I scan the bat? The bat. All the. It's interesting. All the animals do the same kind of thing. When you get close to them, they run away. I'm sure that's intentional. Like if if you were an explorer trying to scan strange animals, I'm sure they'd run away from you too. So it makes sense. But it does add sort of a challenge, to, a, kind of a cool challenge to it that isn't like, see how accurate you can shoot your gun, you know? It's like, it's a, it's a, 
It's like a clicking challenge that isn't a shooting challenge, which is cool. Oh, oh, hey, big turtles, what are you? Hey, big turtles. Wow. I scanned all of them. I didn't scan this guy. He's hiding from me. Which guy didn't I scan? This guy. Alright, got them all. Um, this is the down down. I could get it from the left side. This is all rocky. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Although I think I might be coming up um, below the stump. I sure am. Not that that's really useful, but, oh, and I can't even, oh yeah, I can. Can I push it? Oh, there we go. Oh no, am I stuck? Oh no. I'm stuck in the stump! All right, unfortunately, I had to restart, <laughs> um, but I got my lantern now, so I'm gonna journey into the depths, the, uh, the deep part and see what I can find down here uh, that I couldn't see before without the lantern. So let me just have a drop through. Now it kind of gives me vision in the whole area, so... You're creepy. You're creepy. That's a spider web. Oh yeah, I can burn the spider webs. Of course you can. This is a video game. That's how spider webs work. Um, yuck. I needed seven more, uh, seven more research points to get my next thing, so I gotta collect some of that down here and then, and then see what there is. Are these? Wow, those are amazing. Huge. Oh, bouncy mushrooms. I wonder, okay, for, first of all, what the heck was that over there? But can also do these, like... They do, they bounce you, like, proportionally. That's cool. Um, that's scary. That's like a... A s beehive? Oh, boy. I can't quite jump up there. That's, I'm guessing, is gonna hurt me. If I try to run past it. Maybe not. Okay. I scan you. I have enough to get my thing, but I'm, I'm hoping that maybe it'll loop around and I won't have to... Oh, nice! Can I get a direct line to it? Yeah. Okay. Boing. Boing. No! Crap. Well, I can scan these guys at least, and then I'll come back around. I gotta try to do the, the platforming thing. You know, boing... Lots of boing, so let me jump and yeah, nice. Now, oh, oh, actually, okay. So jumping on that one will bring me back up. One more try. Boing. Cool, made it. Now I don't know why this was necessary. I think it just it was mostly just to make me feel good about my platformer ability. Um, I got enough things to continue, so let me, let me do that before I head down further into the, the depths of the spider lair. The destructibility of the environment is really interesting, because, like, you'd think... I, like, kind of feel bad just ruining it, because part of the, the idea of this game is you don't want to hurt things and destroy the... But, you know, you gotta, you gotta dig your way out, so that's... It's a silly, it's a silly complaint, but just a thought, just a thought that I had. Okay, um, gotta eat this, because I'm hurting. There's no health indicator, but that's fine. I'm, I can, I can tell. Um, come on. Okay. What do I get? What do I get? Quota complete! Success! Alright, so that was, I guess I got everything. I beat the level, so let me just... Run down and see if there was anything cool down there that I wanna that I wanna check out. I 
I forgot that I could just like dig straight through. Like I don't need. I didn't need to go back around. I just dug straight down. All right. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's more stuff than here. We have water. What are you? Can I throw it? Yeah. More water. Can I jump in the water? I, I have. I have breath. Okay. So here's some turtles. Oh, and I'm not great at swimming. That's interesting. Got some turtles down there in the water. I don't know what you are. That's very cool. I'm hoping that in the full game, the things... Oh, fish. Oh, man. So now he's just showing off. <laughs> this is sort of like, all right, you beat the demo. Let me show you some of the ideas I had. That's basically what this is. I hope that at some point in the future, and I fully expect this to be the case, that these animals will be named. Like, be like, you found the... I can't think of a fish name off the top of my head, but you know what I mean. You know that these will be like more of a discovery that the first time than just like you got some points. But you know, a demo is a demo. You gotta you gotta demo. You gotta demo your thing. You can't spend too much time thinking of fish names or you'll never finish it. So, uh, so that's all for this. Uh, this was really really cool. I, I, like I said, I like the idea that it's like a non-violent exploration game. You're just looking at stuff. You're Leave no trace the environment. You don't want to kill any animals. It's really good. I like that idea a lot. So you can check this game out right now if you want to play it on slimefriend.itch.io slash star dash surveyor. Just search for star, star surveyor. You should find it. And follow what he's doing because it's cool and hope it goes further. So that's all for me. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.